everyone, I'm Tracy. Welcome to my channel. I am an acupuncturist and a yoga teacher. I want to do something a little bit different today in my video. I wanted to um, share with you some Chinese medicine tips and how it relates to spring. So I'm going to call this my little fireside chat because I'm close to a fireplace and I wanted to chat with you about this. If you do like this video, please subscribe to me and um, write me a comment. Let me know what you think of these ideas and the thoughts. Okay, so Chinese medicine, around the spring time frame, we believe that we are connected to our environment. So if you wanna think about springtime and what's happening outside, all of the trees have bud, they've bloomed, the, the, the grass is growing more, the birds are very happy, and everything is transforming from the winter time frame to now. There's a transformation period, there's an outward growth, there's this blooming effect. So if we know that that's happening outside, we can see maybe that this may be happening inside us as well. So during the time frame of spring, have you noticed that you may be feeling grumpy, maybe more frustrated, maybe your joints are starting to bother you? Are you suffering from seasonal allergies? If you have answered yes to any of this stuff, well, Chinese medicine concepts and theories may be able to help you with this. So if in the winter we're more dormant, we're inside, Things are kind of closed up, just like our houses, especially if you live in a very cold climate like me. The house was closed, the windows were closed, but now it's spring and things are opening up. Well, inside our body, things are starting to percolate and bloom and sprout as well. And that can lead to, from being dormant to now, this transformation period, things can be a little bit more grumpy for the body. In Chinese medicine, we believe that the liver and the gallbladder are heavily affected in this time period. This is the time of the wood period, the wood that is expanding. So this is the earth element of the liver. If the liver channel is affected, then you may feel grumpy, you may be getting frustrated more easily, your body may be aching a little bit more, and especially you may be suffering from headaches, neck tension, and seasonal allergies. Why this is the case? Because according to Chinese medicine, we have meridians or highways in the body, and those highways, those channels, those meridians, though that flow period, that energy for the liver and the gallbladder channels are exactly in those places. So the liver channel starts between the first and the second toe, right between the first and the second toe. It comes up here, it goes onto the inside of the inner part of our leg, it rises up into this space, into the chest, and then it finds its way, meeting the gallbladder channel, up into the neck, to the side of the head, and then it kind of comes around the head and it ends up into the surrounding tissues around the eyes. So that's that liver space, all that area. And then the gallbladder, which is connected to the liver channel, is it, it, it starts around the side of the eye, wraps around where the head is, around to the neck. So if you're suffering from this no shoulder and neck tension, there's some really great acupressure points that you can press on yourself on a daily basis to help you manage this, this grumpiness, okay? So the first point is gonna be the between the first and the second toe. That's liver three. Now there's a bunch of different points in this area, but liver three is a really wonderful point to help soothe and move what we call your liver chi. So if you feel stuck, stagnated, a little bit grumpy in the moods, maybe even your eye is a little bit twitchy, it's kind of ascending up into that area, go ahead and press the first and the sec between the first and the second toe. So for me, if I press this point, Gosh, it's pretty tender. And that means eh, I've been a little stuck lately. So 
maybe I have been a little bit grumpy. Don't ask my family because they'll, well, they'll, they'll tell you 100%. Yes, she's been grumpy lately. So I'm going to go ahead and press this and help myself. And of course, I can always acupuncture myself later, but you don't have um, these needles that you can use. So you're going to go ahead and press this spot and don't forget to breathe, okay? So pressing between the first and the second toe. Now, I was speaking about the gallbladder channel. Well, that gallbladder channel is mentioning is kind of going up into the neck. Maybe you're having neck tension. It's going to the side of the eye. It's coming to the side of the head. But that gallbladder channel actually also runs down to the outer side of the body and comes down the leg, the outer part of the leg, between the fourth and the fifth toe. So those metatarsals, those toes, you can go ahead, just like we did with the liver um, point, the liver three point, go ahead and press on between the fourth and the fifth toe. So when I press this point, whoosh, this is way more grumpy than my liver point. And maybe that's because we had four birthdays to celebrate and maybe because I overate a lot of cake on the weekend. So yes, I'm helping my digestive tract as well. Okay, so I'm gonna press into that point. So that's a perfect segue when I was speaking about the digestive tract. So the liver really helps to detoxify the body. And according to Chinese medicine, it is responsible for the smooth flow of qi and blood. So if the liver is stagnated and it's not detoxifying the best way that it can, it is heavily affected by emotions. Go ahead and breathe. Try to press those points between your first and second toe. Now, if you've been eating not so great food during the spring season, and maybe you overate during the holiday season in the winter time frame, this is when your digestive system during the springtime may be a little bit out of whack. So I want to encourage you to press between the fourth and the fifth toe. Go ahead and press on both sides of the feet for both points. Go ahead and press onto that point. Don't forget to breathe. And lastly, I want you to work on doing these beautiful digestive abdominal movements, starting on the right side of your torso, right side of the abdomen, going up, across, and then down. We're moving up, across, maybe gentle pressure on the downward motion where you're following the, the natural digestive tract, helping and aiding in your digestion. You're just breathing and moving through this. And then lastly, some little bit of tips on food and nutrition. Chinese medicine, we always love to talk about lifestyle. So movement, as I've mentioned, is great. And in a lot of other my videos, I talk about motion is lotion. We'll go ahead and move and breathe, press on those acupressure points. But most importantly, let's talk about diet and lifestyle choices. So regarding digestion, the liver and the gallbladder, it's very simple to say, Let's stay away from fatty foods, um, all of those kind of greasy, fried, overly sweet foods. We're going to steer away from them. Chinese medicine specifically says if you're going to help soothe the liver, we're going to start to introduce a little bit of citrus, okay? A little bit, not too much, because if you're really grumpy, it's just going to, it's like fueling the fire. So a little bit of citrus is gonna help the liver. And then regarding the gallbladder, we're gonna stay away from all of those fatty, overly fried, greasy foods. And definitely like how I was celebrating many different people's birthdays, I'd try to steer away from that birthday cake, okay? So those are some tips. A little bit of citrus is gonna be super great for you. And um, we're gonna drink lots of water. I hope all of this was helpful. It's a little bit of snippet into my life and what I teach a lot of my patients. I want you to focus on pressing those points, finding your breath, and then adding a little bit of citrus into your diet. Okay, and don't forget to breathe. 
If you liked what you saw here today, send me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And then check out some of my other movement videos. Have a wonderful day.